Well, hi guys. You know, I wanted to take a quick look at Picasa 3.6. If you have it and you don't use it, you may want to take another look. Uh, they've really added a lot of good features to it. And it's just a great organizational and editing tool for most people, for most home users. Um, it's great. You can customize everything or it will scan your computer and do everything automatically. You can put any kind of information under each image. It does video as well, has a good video player. Um, if we just open an image here, um, on the basic fixes tab, you've got crop and you can do any custom uh, ratio you want on that. It has a histogram. Um, you know, just amazing on, on the on on this basic tab. It has a straighten feature, which a lot of people don't know about. You don't have the horizon quite right, or you know whatever. You can straighten your uh, pictures. Red eye, and then these are these are really kind of beginner contrast and color. It has a retouch feature, where you can choose the size of your circle. Take uh, an image from the sky, you know. Say there was a plane flying through here, you could you could erase that plane, for instance. Um, so that's uh, that's great. And then the next tab is more of a, you know, contrast and and color on more advanced level with fill light, highlights, shadows, color temperature neutral color picker and you have a live histogram down here and just so everybody knows you can do any kind of editing and you don't need to worry it will save the original picture automatically so you know that's good to know too then on the effects tab there's three tabs here this is the last one uh, a really useful feature I found is saturation you can do saturation and then any number of other uh, you know filter type things and uh, so that's really really nice too also when you're in this view you can click and move your mouse slightly and it will zoom in to a hundred percent you can scroll around this way or you can come down here and scroll around make sure your focus is good or, or look at a certain area of the image when you're done just come back over on the image and click and it moves back out to the fit the screen there so that's pretty cool too if you move back to the library view you have this tray down here and all these options you can hold down control and put a number of images into your tray down here you can pin them or delete the tray the items from the tray but once you have them in the tray um, you can do a number of interesting things and that involves using this, these uh, customizable again options down here I've erased some of them there's a few more available but you can upload to Picasso web album albums which I found real real nice email using any email account you'd like it's totally customizable print export which actually means if you uh, click it here you can e you can export or resize these images in the tray one or many to any size you'd like image quality you can add a watermark and then if you just hit export it'll export them to this location so believe me when I say this is just touching the very surface. It's so very customizable. You can resize or you know just completely customize it however you'd like it or it's actually set up pretty good um, when you just download and run it. So you know I just thought I'd go uh, go through it a little bit. I find a number of people asking me what I th I think the best uh, 
you know, whether they should use Photoshop. And, you know, a lot of people really should use Photoshop. But for a lot of home users and stuff, Picasa is going to be just fine. It's a great tool. It's free. And I'd highly recommend trying it out. So, guys, have a great day. Talk to you soon.